This is a really tough decision. To win at poker, I must be capable of making a big laydown. A big laydown is when I have a great hand, but not quite the best hand, and there's a lot of money in the pot. In these situations, I take the time to think through the hand carefully. By doing so, I can often see the situation for exactly what it is, a trap that's very likely to break me. Sometimes you just know your beat and you gotta lay a hand down. All right, Bruce. Yes. So lay it down. No guts, no glory, Phil. Oh, oh yeah, only a pair of fives. <laughs> Tilter. I just got bluffed out of over a quarter of my stack, but I've got to reset and focus. Anytime something like this happens to me at a final table, I try to pretend like I just doubled up. I'm going to pretend like I just had 450,000 and now I've got 900,000. I've got to imagine that my left hand is scooping the chips while my right hand repeatedly slugs Bruce. No, can't do that. He kicked my ass. Okay, I've got to imagine that I've doubled up. That's a great play, Phil. You've gone from 400,000 in chips to 800,000. Congratulations. All right, I feel better now. A little bit. Five, 20, and 40. Hey, here we go, Phil. Listen, why don't you give me one of those famous uh, Hollywood celebrity poker chip counts here? <laughs> right after I double up, bro. You got it, man. What a jerk. I call. Bruce calls 40,000 from the small blind. If I had more chips, I'd come over the top with a strong raise here. But now if I'm re-raised, I can't afford to lay it down, and I don't want to call all in with 6-7 suited. If the chip stack's reversed, I'd definitely re-raise. Instead, I think I'm going to take a free look here and hope for a good flop. Check. Come on, spades. 40,000 apiece. The first three cards are 7, 7, 6. Oh. My. God. Fantasy flop. Gotta stay calm. Gotta stay calm. Gotta stay calm. All right. I'm gonna check my full house here. I'm hoping that Bruce is gonna bluff at the pot, or if he checks, I hope the turn card improves his hand. Check. Normally, I don't slow play, but when I have a full house and I'm essentially locked to win, I like to check and give my opponents a chance to bluff or a chance to make their hand on a later card. Come on, put some chips into the pot. You know you want to do it. Make it easy on you. 45,000. 45,000 is the bet from Bruce. I've got two strategies now for maximizing the number of chips I win. I can raise here and hope that Bruce has a strong enough hand to call. Or, I can call and hope that Bruce thinks I'm on a draw. If a blank falls on the turn, I'll check and hope that Bruce bets big, either to protect his hand or to bluff at the pot. Call. Still calls. Turn card is an ace. Okay, the ace has changed my strategy. Now it's time to exploit my table image by leading out with a bet. If the ace gave Bruce top pair, he's going to raise me and commit himself to the pot. If the ace didn't help an aggressive player like Bruce, he might think my bet's a frustrated on-tilt bluff. Narnie. So that's 90,000. Well, that's a surprise. What, do you have an ace up your sleeve or something, Phil? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do have an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> oh, that one doesn't count, though. <laughs> You know what? I respect aces, but I'm all in. He's all in. I call. And, and Phil Gordon's called. He's flopped a full house. Aces. Ah, alone. that's what I didn't want to happen. What you just have an out there, here. Phil? I didn't need an ace up two my sleeve for this hand, buddy. He has two outs here. He'd still win the pot. If an ace were to come on the river. No ace, please. This could be the last hand if an ace comes up. It's a jack. Yeah. Yes. 
In this hand, I was able to exploit my table image of being on tilt by betting out when the ace came. Remember, exploit your table image. If your opponents think you're playing tight, exploit this by bluffing more frequently. If your opponents think that you're playing loose or that you're on tilt, exploit this by betting your big hands more aggressively. All right, we are heads up. It's 5,000, 20, and 40,000. Who's the chip leader? Who's your daddy? Oh, pocket kings. Got the chip lead. I've got pocket kings. I'm on the button. This tournament could be over if I play this hand right. I'm going to raise a modest three times the big blind so I don't chase Bruce away. I'm hoping he'll re-raise me either because he's got a good hand or because he's steaming about doubling me up on the last hand. 120. Lead right out. Make it 120,000. I call. Bruce is called. First three cards are ace, jack, eight. That is not a good flop. Why is it that every time I've got pocket kings, it seems an ace comes? I bet 200,000. 200,000 is the bet by Bruce Buffer. I'm really starting to hate this guy. All right, it's time to think. Would Bruce have called my pre-flop raise with an ace? Yes, but I think it's more likely he would have re-raised me. Yeah, he'd re-raise me if he had an ace. What's the chance that Bruce would bluff when an ace fell on the flop? As we recently witnessed two hands ago, very high. It seems to me that it's more likely that Bruce does not have an ace. I call. Bill Gordon's called. Turn card is a five of clubs. If Bruce checks here, I'm confident that his bet on the flop was a bluff. I'm all in. Freeze. Did you see that? That was a tell. Let's go back. All right, play. Here goes Bruce making a bet from two hands ago. This was when he bluffed all in with only a pair of fives. I'm all in. Freeze. Now let's compare. Here's the all in bet that Bruce just made. I'm all in. His gestures are almost exactly the same. You are busted, Bruce, that is a tell course, you might just want me to think it's a tell. <sighs> this is really, really tough, but I think I'm going to call. If I've read Bruce correctly, I've got the best hand. I got him. Prove it. Bruce, I'm going to call you. He calls y'all in bet. He's got two kings for Phil yeah. Gordon. Yes. Bruce has two nines. I need a big, big, big nine. Big. Big nine. Big. Big. You need a huge chip leader. Come on, dealer. Come on, dealer. Yes! Oh. Yes! The nine. How about that chip count now, Mr. Gordon? Oh. Unbelievable. I make the great call. I'm 25 to 1 to win, and Bruce sucks out. <sighs> great. Two big blinds left. Time for short stack strategy. 